Welcome back to the Summer Grill Series here on Chud's Barbecue, everybody. My name is Bradley Robinson, and today I'm gonna show you how I made this beautiful grilled salmon with some grilled potatoes and broccoli for the perfect weeknight dinner. Coming up! Around the Chud household, there is a weeknight dinner that seems to keep repeating itself. That would be the humble salmon filet. A beautiful center cut piece of salmon, whether it's on the smoker, on the grill, or on a flat top, is a frequent dinner. And that's because it's fatty and flavorful and satisfying, yet not nearly as heavy as something like a pork chop or a steak or something like that. Not to mention you can get real creative with the flavors. So that being said, let's fire up the grill and throw on a salmon filet. This is your standard salmon filet center cut from the grocery store. And again, for weeknight dinners, I don't try to go too fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a nice coating of good old-fashioned chud rub. This is a pretty standard rub I created a few years back. Just an all-purpose rub, mostly salt, pepper with some savory notes in there. And this is not for sale yet. However, if you want to win this very bottle of Chud Rub, you can go ahead and become a Patreon member. This will be the Patreon giveaway this week. So one lucky member of my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Chud's Barbecue, will win this very bottle of Chud Rub. Each cheer gives you another chance to win, and I'll announce the winner probably in a week or two. Just nice, even coating. All right, this pit is nice and hot. Let's get this cook started off with our vegetables. Got some cute little potatoes in this perforated pan. Simply toss these in some olive oil, a little bit of salt. Would have done chud rub if I thought about it. We're just gonna let these roast over the open fire for a little bit, get some good color on them. These pans are super convenient for summer grilling. Just wanna keep them moving, make sure nothing burns. You can cook these potatoes pretty hot and fast without burning them. And once they feel nice and probed tender, oh yeah. We'll set these off to the side of the grill to continue cooking and soften up. I also got this bit of broccoli right here that I'm gonna just grill as well. I'm just gonna get some good char on this, hit it with a little olive oil as well. Don't wanna get it too black or anything, just get some nice char on there for some extra flavor. And once we've got some beautiful char on there, some wonderful caramelized color, we're gonna throw this into a metal bowl. We're gonna pop some foil over this and let it steam, which is gonna help it continue to cook. We're also gonna throw a little bit of butter in there as well. And now it's time to throw on our salmon. We're going skin side down. And we're just gonna keep an eye on that for the next little bit. Best part about salmon is that you can kind of watch it cook all the way right up through. So we're gonna go until that skin is no longer stuck to the grate and then we'll give it a flip. Probably about three to five minutes. All right, about four minutes later, this is lifting off nice and clean. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it right on over. Got some beautiful crispy skin. Oh, something about salmon on the grill. Oh, love summer. All right, let's see how this side is looking. Beautiful. Hard to beat that color. Now that we got some nice color on both sides of this salmon, it's time to apply our glaze. And you can pretty much do whatever you want for a glaze. For a long time, I did a mix of maple syrup with a little sriracha and a little soy sauce. Kind of get that sweet and spicy vibe going on. And that was until I found this, which is sweet soy sauce. It's called a sweet soy sauce glaze. And it's super thick, makes for a perfect glaze, paints on real nice, has all the flavors of soy sauce, plus a little bit of sweetness, which pairs very well with the salmon. So I'm gonna paint this on, we're gonna shut the lid, we're gonna let this cook on for a little bit. And for a little bit of textural difference plus garnish, we're gonna go on with some sesame seeds as well. Beautiful. Tell you what, folks, this makes for a pretty mean weeknight dinner. So we're gonna let that set up for a little bit and we'll come back in a minute. I lost my spatula. Ooh. Ha, 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 ha. Gotta love glazed salmon. So good. Let's dive in. Mm. Oh, yes, please. Now, mm hmm. Ooh. Perfect amount of smoky, perfect amount of sweetness. You gotta love that flake apart. I pulled this at about 130 internal temp. Probably carried over to about 145, which is perfect for salmon. Nice and juicy. Mmm, got that flavor. I'd eat that. Like, it just flakes apart. It's so moist. 
Mmm, Highly recommend this, folks. Hard to beat it. It's just so juicy. And that glaze gets a nice stickiness to it. A little grilled broccoli. Don't mind if I do. And again, the world is yours with the glaze. You could add nothing. You could add some sweet rubs. You could do the whole maple or honey situation. And you can always change it up. Potatoes? No. <laughs> oh, is your hat? Just mash them up. Oh, it's purple. Neat. Some people are worried about the skin. If you cook it right, it's completely delicious. Super edible. It's rare that I actually cook my dinner on camera. And the best part about salmon is that, you know, it's good raw, right? That's what a lot of sushi and sashimi is made out of. So it doesn't matter if you're cooking it medium rare, medium well done, it's totally up to your preference. I usually shoot for about 145 and it comes out just to my liking. Sometimes I go a bit under if you want that extra juicy texture, but mm. So good. And the sesame seeds add a nice crunch too. I have also been known to swap these sesame seeds out for everything bagel spice. That way if you have leftovers, it goes perfectly on a bagel. So good. All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make a super simple, super tasty, grilled, glazed salmon filet. I'm not lying when I tell you that I do this all the time. It really is a super tasty weeknight dinner, and it comes together quicker than this video is made. And this is a pretty short video. So if you do give this recipe a try for yourself, hit me up on Instagram, at Chud's Barbecue. I love to see what y'all are cooking. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that good stuff. It really helps me out. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting the channel. And don't forget, this week's giveaway is some chud rub you can be the only other person in the world other than me to have some chud rub in their pantry so be sure to sign up for that let me know in the comments below what you want to see me cook next and until the next time i see you please go cook something outside peace